what's good josh will ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out 10 wwe wrestlers who were ordered to lose weight or lose their jobs the most noticeable one is uh gunther aka walter uh, when he was in nxt uk he was definitely more on the heavy set side but it still didn't diminish his character because the dude was physically imposing in his chops whether he was a little bit overweight or not were still deadly so obviously when he was getting called up to the main roster vince definitely wanted him to change his physique for sure and honestly the dude is looks like he's in the best shape of his life bro and he still looks imposing and the chops are still just as deadly so we're gonna check out some of these other moments where wrestlers had to lose their lose a little bit of weight or potentially lose their job man appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel let's do this thing Sometimes wrestlers in WWE are informed to lose weight or they'll lose their spot on the card or in rare circumstances even be released from their WWE contract. This has happened a number of times throughout WWE history and it was rather common during the reign of power of one Vince McMahon. Mm. It's no secret that McMahon had a preference when it came to what his wrestlers looked like. And this led to McMahon outright ordering specific talent to lose weight. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 WWE wrestlers who were ordered to lose weight or lose their job. Be sure to subscribe yep. and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and look. follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Number 10, Rikishi. One of the most popular stars during the acclaimed WWE Attitude Era was Rikishi. Mm. Rikishi was beloved by fans, but as WWE entered into the Ruthless Aggression Era, Rikishi slowly lost his star power and Vince McMahon had one specific issue with the former Intercontinental Champion, his weight. Mm. Throughout 2004, it was reported that WWE were ordering Rikishi to lose weight, but he simply wasn't listening. WWE decided to take drastic action and ultimately release Rikishi from his WWE contract in the oh. summer of 2004. Rikishi would then work on the independent scene and even had a run in TNA. Even though Rikishi was fired from WWE, this wouldn't damage his relationship with the company in the long run as he's made a number of appearances since his rightful Hall of Fame That's induction crazy. in 2015. I didn't number know nine. that was part of the reason why he was released. Didn't know that. Never actually knew that. Um, granny, he, you know, obviously he didn't burn bridges with the company, so he still made a few appearances, but, um, I mean, I don't even think it was more so his weight, because he's always looked the same, but it's more so just the times that change, and I don't really think they had much for him going into the ruthless aggression era, so that's kind of where I think about it. Sheamus. Sheamus is in peak physical shape currently, but during Sheamus's tank team run with Cesaro, Vince McMahon took exception to Sheamus's weight. Instead of outright informing Sheamus to lose weight, McMahon would make a passing joke at his expense, and this was when Sheamus knew he had to change his physique or there'll be consequences. Sheamus would discuss this during an appearance on Edge and Christian's podcast and revealed. Um, and actually, also came back to the fact that I came back from Hard Rays in Ireland, and uh, me and Cesaro. Uh, we're walking by Vince. And Vince goes, hey, Seamus. I said, yeah. He goes, enjoy the holidays, huh? And he's oh, looking at me. Oh. And I go, and I was like, okay, that's it. That's it. Yeah. I, uh, I need to do something like that. Uh -huh. so that, was, that, was the, that was the change in gear. So Zara will tell you as well. Zara knew right away when that. Uh -huh. made. I just put too much weight on that. I just kind of. Number eight, Gangrel. Uh -huh. A Gangrel. Soon, as soon, if Vince says something like that to you, do not take it lightly. Vince is very particular and meticulous, especially with how he wants his wrestlers to look. So if he's like, oh, had a fun holiday or something like that, if you come back from the holidays having a good time, go ahead and get in the gym, my boy. It was a true standout of the Attitude Era. The vampire-esque character had a captivating persona and had one of the most iconic entrances in WWE. Gangrel could never push past the big card in WWE, and one of the reasons for this was that Vince McMahon had ordered Gangrel to lose weight from his initial debut, and McMahon became gradually more frustrated with his appearance. There's another been legend that when Gangrel's stomach was exposed in the match in 2000, McMahon was so angry with what he saw that he believed he had no other options but to let Gangrel go. Damn. Number seven, Yokozuna. A WWE legend, Yokozuna struggled with his weight throughout his life. WWE made several attempts in trying to help him change his lifestyle. According to Jim Ross on his Grill and JR podcast, WWE was so concerned with his weight that they ordered him, along with fellow WWE star Vader, to attend a weight loss center. You know, we, sent, we sent uh, Bruce, we sent uh, uh, 
uh, Yoko and Vader to the noted Duke Weight Loss Center, uh, Duke University, and uh, to, 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 to lose weight, to, to retrain themselves on how to eat, basically. And because we're getting in that, that era where uh, area that uh, Yoko was described, the mother doctor described to me, he's morbidly obese. And so, you know, it, it, it's a, it was a matter of, it's a matter of time to where some one athletic commission is not going to, not going to let him work because of his health, mm. his blood pressure is too high, his weight's too much, whatever, whatever. And so we wanted to get ahead of the curve. We sent him and Bader both who was mm. suffering some of the same issues. Now, JR would state this simply didn't work and it somehow led to Yokozuna gaining even more weight. Yeah. Eventually, McMahon had had enough and decided to release the former WWE champion from his contract. Discussing Yokozuna's release, JR would reveal... Rodney was not surprised. It wasn't like, what? You know, he'd been told these same stories, the same thing. We tried and tried to, to make this thing work. Uh, but, it, you know, he knew the issues. So when he got the news, you know, we, we we're not going to flirt. Look, his weight, the weight was one thing. Conrad, but having heart issues, yeah, man, you don't touch that, right? Uh -uh. And you, and if nothing else, you protect the talent because you love them. That Number six, Keith Lee. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Once the once you start having complications with your heart, you got to do something. You got to do something because at that point, your body's telling you, I'm. Um, there's only so much I can do right now. Keith Lee was initially called up to the WWE main roster in 2020. It was all going so well, but it wasn't before long that things began to go horribly wrong. Mm -hmm. It was reported that Vince McMahon wasn't happy with how Lee looked physically, and this led to him telling Lee that he needed to lose weight. This was supported by Lee changing his attire, and he would now cover up the top part of his body where it was previously exposed. According to Dave Meltz on the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, WWE were concerned with Lee's weight due to him having to work longer matches on the main roster. In shocking fashion, Lee was released in late 2021. He was cited that attitude problems were the reason for his surprising release, but it was clear that McMahon simply disliked Lee's appearance and his release in all likelihood had nothing to do with Lee's behavior or attitude. I can Number see five, that. Bray Wyatt. A Bray Wyatt's WWE release in 2021 shocked the wrestling world. Mm -hmm. Wyatt was one of the top stars in the company and was a former WWE champion. It later surfaced that Wyatt had heat with Vince McMahon and McMahon and Wyatt would often butt heads backstage. McMahon would often make inappropriate comments in relation to Wyatt's weight and it was clear that McMahon had an issue with how he looked. McMahon's personal dislike of Wyatt eventually led to his release and it was reported that similarly to Lee, Wyatt had attitude problems, which seems to be the justification for a release if a talent defends themselves from McMahon's controversial preference on how a wrestler should look. Mm -hmm. Number 4. Gunther Upon Knew he was Gunther's be call-up to the main roster, it was reported that Vince McMahon had ordered the former NXT UK champion to lose weight. It was reported that McMahon exclusively wanted slim people on television, and this was yet another sign that McMahon had completely lost touch of what the modern-day wrestling fan wanted. To Gunther's credit, he was able to get into incredible shape, he, and this pleased McMahon, who rewarded Gunther with a push. Did, However, if Gunther didn't follow McMahon's demands, then his main roster call-up would have likely have been a disaster, and he likely wouldn't have won the Intercontinental title. Facts. Number 3. Ryback one of the first things WWE fans noticed about Ryback upon his reintroduction to WWE in 2012 was his colorful singlet. These were compared to Rob Van Dam's classic singlets, but Ryback mm -hmm. wasn't always set to wear this type of attire. According to Ryback, he was set to debut in standard trunks, but Vince McMahon believed that he was too fat and wanted him to lose weight. Eventually, Ryback was able to lose the weight, and towards the end of his run in WWE, McMahon permitted the former Intercontinental Champion to show off his body. Number two, Kevin Owens. I know Kevin. Vince I knew McMahon Kevin infamously Owens told Kevin Owens backstage at WrestleMania 33 that his match with Chris Jericho was the worst match in WrestleMania history. Damn. Whilst the match wasn't an all-time classic, it certainly wasn't the worst match in WWE yeah. history or WrestleMania history. Yeah. Hell, it wasn't even the worst match on the WrestleMania 33 match card. But according to Y2J, McMahon had issues with Owens' weight at the time, and he was trying to get his point across. Jericho would add following the WrestleMania match that McMahon outright ordered Owens to lose weight, stating, You need to lose weight, and this is terrible, and you don't know anything. Damn. Thankfully, Owens was able to bounce back, and he's been able to maintain his strong position in WWE since the WrestleMania 33 match with Jericho. And number one, The Big Show. Throughout his I, never, I never knew Vince was like, yo, this is the worst match ever in WrestleMania history. Are you sure about that, Vince? 
Where's the John Cena meme when you need it? <laughs> his legendary career, the Big Show has been known to struggle with his weight. In 2000, Vince McMahon sent the former WWE champion to OVW to condition his body and get in in-ring shape, as McMahon wasn't happy with how show was looking in the ring. According to Bruce Pritchard, due to show's weight, he was unable to perform at the level WWE wanted him to, and they had no other option but to send him away for a substantial period of time. Show's weight fluctuated over the years, but once mm -hmm. again in late 2013, McMahon was dissatisfied with Show's appearance. He would discuss McMahon's reaction to his weight gain during an appearance on Talk Is Jericho. I got fat, so he told me, you're a fat New Year's baby. Maybe you should lose some weight. Damn. That's the kind of relationship I had with him. <laughs> it was a way for Vince to say he's getting fat. I need to motivate him. Let me embarrass you. You know yep. what I mean? The one who made me wear a diaper worked. He yeah. proceeded to light a fire in show as he would proceed to get in the best shape of his career, nah, losing 100 show. pounds in the process. For the first time in his life, show had abs and it was an achievement that didn't go unnoticed. This also heavily influenced show's in-ring work as he became quicker in the ring and the matches with the likes of Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman all benefited from a version of show that had been dormant for far too long. But they haven't nah, folks. Big Show w did w lose a lot of weight, man. Shout out to him. It's crazy how Vince motivates you. Sometimes you do need that. Sometimes you need someone that's just going to be brutally honest. Like, yo, you're fat. Get it together. And Vince was one of those people. And if you didn't get it together, you probably was going to see yourself on the unemployment line. So comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys agree with Vince McMahon's methods of telling people to lose weight? Do you guys feel like it's a little bit too harsh? Or do you guys feel like uh, it is exactly what some people need? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel. Road to 150k and I am still here in the CV. Blah, 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 blah. Y'all know what I am. Y'all know what belts I have. I lost it. I lost it. I lost it.